Hello, my name is David Austin with the University of Florida Institute of Food and Agricultural Science. I'm the Hometown Gardener on Facebook. Please find my page and follow it. Today we're going to be talking about the Zebra Helenconia butterfly, Florida State butterfly. It's also known as the Zebra Longwing. Zebra Longwings prefer to host on passionflower plants. Passionflowers can be natives or not natives. We prefer you use the native plants, and today we're going to tell you a little bit about that and how to do it. Zebra heliconiers will only lay their eggs on passionflower vines. They prefer shady locations and will not use most hybrid passionflowers. To assure you have the right plant, we suggest using native passionflowers. Here a zebra caterpillar feeds on the distinctly shaped bifora leaf. Gold fertility butterflies also host on passionflowers, but their caterpillars will be black and orange. Non-native Passiflora biflora is suitable, but not found in Florida nursery. Next we have the plant that we would prefer you to use, and that's Passiflora suberosa. Here it's shown growing in a reed stem orchid. No, it doesn't have an orange flower, that's the orchid. Instead, it's the lobed leaf vine that you're looking at. This little plant grows out in wooded areas. As you can see here, it's hard to recognize in the woods and you may step right over it. Here's what the fruit looks like. This is a very small fruit, less than the size of a dime. This simple leaf suberosa, although it looks a lot different than the lobed one, is the same plant. And the flower, as you see below, is green and inconspicuous. This plant is not as common as the lobe leaf variety and not readily found in native nurseries. Here we see some young caterpillars being raised on the corky stem passion flower. There's an ant running across it, probably looking for an extra floral nectar. These caterpillars will turn into adult butterflies, just like you saw in some of the earlier pictures. Another native that we use is Passiflora incarnata. Incarnata is a wonderful plant for raising these butterflies. It has three lobed leaves. As you can see here in the picture, there's some heart-shaped leaves. That's another plant growing in them. This purple flower is a nice looking flower and will raise butterflies perfectly. The native's also called a maypop and will always have three lobed leaves and no more. Now we'll talk about some nectar plants. Here's a favorite of gardeners. This particular plant is called the pinta, or the red pinta, or the Egyptian star flower. This particular variety is a non-hybrid that has black stamens. It's the preferred flower to most butterfly gardeners. You can find it in your garden centers, but always look for the tall ones and ask for non-hybrids. Here we have a porter weed. This particular one is a purple porter weed. It's a larger porter weed than we're usually familiar with and it's a native to Central and South America. This purple flower will draw in hummingbirds, butterflies, and other pollinators and is a wonderful addition to any butterfly garden. Next, we take a look at a native called the firebush, Camellia patens. This native is great for attracting bees, butterflies, and especially hummingbirds. With this plant in your yard, you don't need a hummingbird feeder. They'll come to it naturally and you won't have to mess with the sugar water. Another one here is called the chaya plant. This plant is edible if you boil the leaves, but to me it's better as a pollinator plant. Here we see a bee feeding on one of the flowers. This plant gets 10 to 12 feet and can be very easy to grow. Basically, you cut off a branch and stick it in the ground, but also give it plenty of room. Like the firebush, it's going to need a little bit of space, 10 to 12 feet around it. And next to it, here we see another great native. This Hummer attractor will attract butterflies and bees alike. This native is called Lancera sempervirens and is a native honeysuckle and should be a part of any garden, especially if you're looking for a vine. So remember, if you want to attract the zebra helenconia to your yard, you're going to have to plant passion flowers. And if you want to keep other butterflies around as well as them, you're going to want lots of nectar plants. I'll leave you as this female lays a yellow egg on the new growth of a passion flower vine. 
And here we see the butterflies in slow motion as they gracefully fly around the Passiflora biflora plant. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you come and look at my Facebook page, Hometown Gardener. This is David Austin with the University of Florida Institute of Food and Agricultural Sciences. Thank you.